As a recent grad, I totally get the struggle of job hunting and the application process. I came across an app that has streamlined my process of organizing information and files like a master resume, so let me share that with you today. Hi friends, it's Shay. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share an app that I came across called X-Styles and it's super useful if you're a university student trying to organize your life in a visual way. X-Styles is a visual alternative to apps like Notion and has useful features if you're a university student. So let me show you some basics on how to use it and some of the aesthetic templates that I created on there. Let's start with the basics. This is what the layout of each document looks like. Each one of these sets of pages is called a document and you can think of a document like a notebook where you can change the cover and the icon image for every single one. The basic action you can take on each page is to create a tile. To do this, you can drag and drop your mouse to a size that you like and start putting in any elements that you want to. If you don't like the tile placement after it's on your page, you can always use the top tab to move the tiles around or use the sides to change the dimensions. And if you really don't like it, you can also delete it like this. Within each document, you can have multiple pages like this. I have four tabs as you can see, but if you're in university, you're able to just keep one document and have multiple pages for different classes or different areas of your life and it's great to have it all in one place. Within each tile you can either use the templates that come with it or you can create your own. Here are all the elements that you can access using the forward slash and you can change the color and the style of each one of the tiles by clicking the three buttons on the corner and selecting whichever one you like best. Some of the other features that are included in the app is the quick notes. You can access the quick notes through the button in the top corner and you can access it on any document that you're on. This is a great place to house any temporary files. So if you have a really brilliant thought that you need to jot down or something that you don't know where to place yet, you can leave there. And you can drop any tile from any board into the quick notes so it's a good way to reorganize any of the work between documents between pages so you don't have to worry about recreating anything on each page another feature that's great about x tiles is the google chrome extension if you use the extension you can highlight any text from a web page click on the extension and drop it into quick notes which is useful for any type of work while you're in school. So for example, I can see this being useful when you're writing research papers and there are just certain quotes that you wanna use for papers. You could just highlight the text and then save it into your quick notes. It's a great way to organize information while you're just browsing the web. Other things that you can use the extension for is like a mood board, shopping list, bookmarks, anything like that. My bookmark tab can get super disorganized with so many folders and if you use the Chrome extension with x -Styles, it's a good way to visually organize all the tabs. Two other features I quickly want to mention is that you can share these pages with other people so you can work on them together, which is great for if you're planning out a group project, you can do it visually, which is always helpful. Or things that you share with your roommate, you can also do that within x -Styles. And if you're done creating everything on x -Styles, you can also export for as PDF or PNG. So let me show you how you can make these three templates, a planner, a semester overview, and a habit tracker within x -Styles. You can always slow down this section of the video if you want to completely copy what I'm doing, but I am creating a bunch of different tiles. So one for overall January, and then a few for the goals and habits. And then I made a tile for each of the weeks. Morning tasks are high priority for me. So here I just split it into high and low priority. I also added some decoration and motivation through the quotes and the pictures. And I also added a place to link everything that I need. Next is my semester overview. I love doing this for all my classes to stay organized and knowing the most important things on the syllabus without having to refer to the physical syllabus. For each class, I made 
a set of three tiles, one for the prof and the TA's email, which is important to have. I have another section for adding the assignments, weight, and the grades, and then I had another section for any special notes. Lastly, I'm building a habit tracker. So I included a little vision board to keep myself motivated and I created a little table with all the days of the week and the habits that I want to stick with. And I also added another quote. Then I added each box for each day of the week. And this section I intended to have a little journaling section plus putting in a little banner to see how I felt that day. So I can just quickly skim over what's going on and how I felt each day of the week. I really like the idea of creating these templates on my own, but if you are short on time or you're not that into customizing things, there are templates that Xtiles have made already. These templates include the class notes or Cornell notes, the personal workspace, and the template research. As you can see from all of my templates, I use a lot of photos to convey the mood that I want in each page. And I grabbed these photos from Unsplash, which you can download on your computer or just use it within Xtiles. Another photo app you can use is Pexels. They also have really pretty photos on there. And I'm also mindful of the colors that I use in each page. I like more of a minimal look, so I use the colored tab, but X Tiles, they have good primary colors, so you can mimic the look of sticky notes within all of your pages. And I also recommend using emojis and pulling nice images off of Pinterest. I always find that if you make your pages look nice and usable, you're more likely to use it, which keeps you organized and makes you stay on top of things for the entire semester. Okay, so that was my take on how to use X tiles if you're a student trying to organize your life and classes. If you wanna sign up and get started, it is free and you can use the link in my bio to get started. You can get unlimited limited editors and up to 500 megabytes of upload and 1000 blocks to start which is plenty for a lot of you and if you want one of their paid plans there is a student discount that you can read more about using the link in my description as always thank you so much for watching my videos and i'll see you in my next one bye